A Moment with Tyranny podcast. This episode in conversation is powered by Homes with Tyranny. Hey, hey, it is, we're back again. It's a Moment with Tyranny podcast, and I'm so excited to have another great topic to talk about. It's something that I have recently experienced, and I have my guest again, which is my mom. You know, I always bring her on because she is so wise, and I'm still learning from her, and and we just have great conversations. So um, without it, just waiting, waiting. Go ahead. Introduce yourself, even though I just introduced you. Go ahead. Hi, this is Tierney's mother, (laughs) Joyce. Good to be with you again. So today we have a topic that everyone, and I do say everyone at some point in time, had to do it, need to do it, or yeah, they need to do it, or had to do it. And um, it's actually our topic today is, or my, let me say my, the topic or the quick is going to be, it's time to purge. Time to purge. So we're going to just jump right into it. So me and my mom has had a very <laughs> interesting week. And, uh, it's been kind of tough. So anyway, go ahead. Um, let's talk about it. Let's jump into it. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think about purging. Okay. It's getting rid of something or even someone mm-hmm. and making room for others. And when I say making room, that goes back to me shopping. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had a purging of closets this Ooh. week. And I tell you, what I purged out of that closet, fill the top of the bed, and what I put back into the closet, I couldn't tell anything had been (laughs) purged out. But purging is a good thing, and uh, we have to even purge our bodies or our minds or, you know, our friends. Purging is a good word, and it's a good thing to do, and that should be part of our lifestyle. Yeah. That's what I think about purging. Yeah, yeah. And purging is a hard thing because um, sometimes when we purge, we when we look at something, we have so, so, so much attached to it emotionally that we think we can't get rid of it. And... Um, my friend Janice, uh, I, I, you know, I, I love her because she's just honest. So we kind of set a goal and we said, okay, we all need to purge. So this month we're going to do a little bit at a time and get it done. And then this month is like, oh my gosh. I, and I'm just like you. I went in there. I took out so many clothes that I haven't even looked at. I mean, I didn't went and bought new clothes and I still ain't even wearing them. Or I gained weight and couldn't get into them. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to get back into those. And you know what? If I ain't got back into them in three, four, five, six years, I'm not going to get into it. So we started purging a little bit. And I filled up a lady's car. She came over and picked it up. And she had a small SUV. And I filled it up. And I still couldn't get into my closet. And it was like (laughs) crazy. And when I started pulling things out, I started looking at, oh, I love that dress. Oh, I love those shoes. Oh, I love those things. But I hadn't. How much do I really love them if I hadn't, I haven't worn them in two or three years, you know, you stop and think about it and, but yeah, you're right. It's a hard job. Uh, it's, a, it's got, you have to be uh, mentally ready for yes, that too. Yes, so, definitely. So how did you prepare yourself to? Well, like I said, it's a mental thing. You have to make your mind up. I got to get this done and just do it. You have to just do it. And I tell you, I, when I finished, I was energyless. I had absolutely no energy, but it felt so good when I could see my uh, closet all arranged in order and everything. I could, you know, shoes not scattered on the floor. They were all in place, everything uniformly hanging on the hangers in there. I could see what I had. (laughs) It wouldn't before I purged it. I didn't know what was in there. And then it made me happy to see clothing that I had purchased that still had tags on it. Mm. I couldn't wear them. Mm. And I said, why am I holding on to this Mm -hmm. just for emotional value or whatever, Mm -hmm. uh, sentimental? And I made my mind up that I would give them to someone in need, and I felt good doing that. Yeah, yes, yes. 
and, and I agree, you know, um, there's a lot of people, we have to look at our blessings and how blessed we are. I mean, we have clothes and closets with tags still on them. Yes. There's people out here in the world that they're looking for, I mean, for something to put on their backs. Uh, they have holes in the clothes. Um, some people are wearing clothes way too big for them just so that they can have something on their bodies and, and, and taking strings to try to hold it up on their waistline. So why not take this stuff and give it? And, and, we, and what we did, we found a, a shelter, not a, sh well, it is, it's a, the one that we, we found was for domestic abused uh, people. And, and I say people because I have to remove my, you know, we always think of domestic abuse as just uh, women. Mm -hmm. And it's not. There's actually men yes. that are also domestically abused. So this place actually took clothing for men, children, and women. Yes. And so we were able to do that. And I have to say I loved it because I actually was able to take all the stuff that oh my god I so let me tell you I have a big SUV and I fill the back of my SUV and the back seat with bags and shoes <laughs> and everything and when I tell y'all you know what too much is too much we would but I was able to take it there and see them actually put the clothes out not sell them mama but they took these clothes and hung them out and let these people come and choose what yes, they needed. Yes. And that's important, uh, you know, um, for, for them to do that. And it was over in a part of town where a lot of people don't want to go over because they're like, oh, you know, it's all the way over there in South Dallas and, you know, it's nothing but crime. But you know what? These people need help. These, a lot of these people don't have cars or anything. So to bring it to them. It warmed my heart, and I know when I we were talking yeah. about it, how it did. But anyway, now, um, when ahead. I was shopping, I did not realize at the time that I was shopping for someone else. You know what? And when people purge the closets, normally they'll think garage sale. Yes. And no, I didn't think that. I wanted this to be passed on yes. to. And you did a very good job of selecting the uh, place to donate these uh, good clothes. I didn't do it. The Spirit did it. Oh, okay. Because I went on Google and I typed in uh, 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 clothing, whatever I typed in. And then the first thing out of all of those things that popped up was this place. And I thought, okay, so well, I didn't, it wasn't familiar. So I went to another place that was more familiar to everyone that you hear. And it didn't have very good reviews on it. So I went back to the top. And when I called that place, when Miss Eva answered the phone, and she was so warm and so loving. And, oh, honey, yes, I can come. I can get them. We need them. We need them. It was just, even in my spirit, it was like, this is the right thing to do. And that's what, you know, we're talking about, we had another episode where we talked about conduits and stuff. Yeah. And um, now, you know, we're talking about this with Persian and the spirit led me to them and we were conduits for this. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. But you're right. And, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted. <laughs> well, no, I just wanted to say that. And, you know, purging is a hard thing. And you also said that we also need to purge ourselves. And you're right, mentally, spiritually, sometimes we need to unplug from media. We need to unplug from TVs. That's a purging. We need to purge our bodies with dieting that comes with fasting. We've talked about fasting. Purging is very healthy in so many ways. Yes. So I agree that there's so much that we have to do when it comes to purging. And um, also shoes. I didn't realize how many pair of shoes I have that are still, have never been worn in the oh box. Oh my God. Talk about it, go ahead, talk about how many. <laughs> I mean, new shoes. Yeah. I look at those shoes, those shoes have been in the closet, how many years, I don't know. Yeah. And I said, let me give these to someone Yeah. that would be happy to wear these shoes. Yeah. I have more than that. Yeah, more than enough. More than enough. And for those that know my mom that's listening, y'all all know mama don't buy nothing that's cheap. Ooh. And she sits over with all this stuff in there. And I'm going to tell you, I almost messed up because I went in there and I looked at all those shoes she had in that box. And I said, oh, 
I like those and I want those. And I'm like, wait a minute, step back. You purge it too. You got to get out. You got to purge. And the other thing, you know, with, with us being in the same household, as she was purging, she was like, here, this is yours. And I'm like, don't put this over here on me. I'm trying to put mine out here. So we were going back and forth on a lot of stuff. But you know what? Um, the house looks so different. The rooms look so different. And purging, let me go back to purging removing that clutter that you don't even yes. realize is clutter it it you breathe easier you think clearer you i can sit in my office and i can think better i mean something about an organized space is very therapeutic should i is yes it is you know so and it has to do with your mindset too yeah yes yeah it's like going to a kitchen to cook Mm-hmm. And there's dirty dishes. I cannot <laughs> cook in a kitchen with dirty dishes. Yeah. Everything has to be clean for me to yeah. start cooking. Yeah, and that's just who I am. Yeah, but you know what? That's true. Um, uh, we were talking about, uh, earlier. We we're talking about people at work. You know, there's some people that know their they're organized. It's like it's chaos. It's a mess. You have somebody in the office and they got so much junk, but they it's their filing system and they can go in and turn around and in a whole pile of mess, they can t- find the smallest piece of information. Exactly. Now that happened when I was in the workforce. There was this girl, her office was so junky. I mean, <laughs> from wall to wall. But like you say, Tierney, she knew where everything was. And some of the girls, while she was on vacation, decided, well, we're going to clean up her office Mm, 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 and mm. surprise her. That woman walked into that office, and Mm, I tell mm. you, she let people know what was on her mind. (laughs) She was lost. She didn't know where anything was at that point. She had to redo this all over to learn where Herself everything thing. was. Yeah. And, you know, what's junk to some people might not be junk. <laughs> That's it. And, 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 and some people have their own filing system, you know. That's, that's right. That's how they file. This pile, of, this pile of stuff in A is all of my finances. This pile of C is, is your, invo- your, your invoices. And over here is my to-dos. And, and people, they just work like that. But I can't. And, and I wanted to say before you got to the end of it, we have, haven't talked about purging friends. Oh, Whoa. yes, yes. Sometimes that's necessary. Yes. Sometimes that can hold you back and hold you from exactly. advancing in many ways. Yes, yes. So it might be hard to do, but it's necessary at times. Just stop. And look around you and start purging, whether yeah. it's your friends or clothing, clothing, diet, and, and you let old mail lay around, purge that, get rid of it, shred it, shred it, <laughs> get, get rid, rid of, of it. it. But you're right. And you know, uh, going back to purging friends, I, when I say sometimes that can be a difficult thing, um, when you stand back and you weigh that friendship, Sometimes you have to realize that that purging is necessary. And when you can say, and, and not only friends, sometimes, and I, 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 when I say this, I mean it, family. There's some family that needs to be purged. And that goes back again, boundaries, you know. Um, if you have those friends and family members or those people that are always there to just take advantage, suck you dry, they never contribute to your growth, they're always negative, um, Every time you want to do something, they got to tell you why you can't do it, or they 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 just don't treat you as a true friend. You know, um, we talked about friends and frenemies on one of our things. That are you a true friend? Are you a frenemy? You know, you got to look at that kind of stuff. And those frenemies, we need to purge. And you're right. And sometimes to tell someone, you know, this relationship or boyfriend, a, 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 a yeah. husband, yeah. whatever, you know, hey, this isn't healthy for me. Because if it's not healthy, you need to purge it. You definitely need to purge it. If it's not purge it, if it's not doing you any absolutely, good, you need absolutely. to purge it. And it's a hard thing. It's, it's a hard, it's especially hard. if you it's have hard. many years with somebody. But when you stop and you reflect on that friendship or their relationship, and you're like, 
what has th has this been? Has this been really one sided? You yeah. might need sometimes to purge you it. can't go forward until you purge. Oh yeah, because it weighs you down. If something is holding you down, anchoring you, then that's not a good thing. You know, you can't fly. You can't do it. And you're right. You know, you got to purge friends. You got to purge your diet so you can be healthy. You got to purge a bad habit sometimes. That's it. <laughs> if you, you know, you smoking and drinking and all that kind of stuff, you might need to purge all those things, you know. Um, yeah, but that's a good thing. So what advice, what kind of key, what would you tell someone that know they need to purge and they don't know their first step to do it? What kind of advice? If you don't need it, get rid of it. Yes. And what does need it mean? If you don't use it, if you hadn't used it for a month or three, four months, or especially years, you don't need that. <laughs> yeah. If you don't see that you have any need for it, don't let it just lay there. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. It could be, like you say, a friend or paperwork or whatever it is Jeez. if it's in yeah if it's in your way get rid of it make room for something else yes 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 and and i'm and i'm gonna say this one thing before i go into my quote is that i have another friend that she says that um her way because she 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 says she almost became a hoarder because she has so much stuff and people don't realize how close to being a hoarder they are because they won't purge. Yes. But she said that she, she started looking around and she was depressed. You know, she would walk in and it was like, why am I so depressed? And so, um, she got into a, uh, uh, some type of, a, a family, I mean, a Christian church, whatever they started, you know, communicating and stuff. And they started talking about purging and cleansing and, and, uh, she came home and, she said she closed her eyes and just start throwing things in the bag because every time you open your eyes and you see it, you want to keep it. You want to see, you going to see something you want to keep. <laughs> yep. Nope. She she said she got rid of it. So she says that after she got everything organized and out the way, if she goes out and she if she buys three things, she gets rid of three things. If she buys ten things, she gets rid of, of, of ten things. If she buys two pair of shoes, she gets rid of two shoes. So. I'm like, you know, that's something that is important. And I'm like, you know what? That makes sense. Because if I'm replacing something, when you buy something, it's supposed to be to replace it, right? That's right. So that's what you did. So that's what it is. So thank you again to talking about Perch. Everybody knows when I end my podcast, I end with a quote. And so here's my quote for today, which re relates to purging. When something or someone no longer serves a positive influence in your life it may be time for a purge so i'll say it again when something or someone no longer serves a positive influence in your life it may be time for a purge so yeah so thank you mama for you joining are welcome me again. If you're not subscribing, please subscribe. Please follow me. Thank you to those that have been following me and totally supporting me. Um, I love this. I love being able to talk and just have a moment with Tyranny just to just kind of let you get to know me and what's around me and what's happening. And I hope that this continues to touch people. So follow me every Friday, uh, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will see you next week with another episode of A Moment with Tyranny. Thank you again. Thank you.